What is going on guys? Josiah Mahaffey here coming back at you with another video and in last week's episode, spoiler alert, we were brutalized by the Seattle Seahawks, absolutely slaughtered 31 to 15. The game wasn't as close. Decided to change some of the sliders to make the gameplay better because it just wasn't playing realistically in my opinion at all. Pass blocking has been moved up from 55 to a 60. I believe run blocking has been moved up from a 45 to a 50. Um, everything else is stay the same. Pass defense, reaction time, and pass coverage went up by 5, actually. Uh, quarterback accuracy was moved down from a 40 to a 35. Pass blocking was moved down from a 40 to a 35. Run blocking was moved... I think that was at a 60 before. We've moved it to a 55, and then everything else has stayed the same. Pass defense, reaction time, and pass coverage might have been... Might have gone down 5. I think it stayed the same, though. Um, and all the rest is the same. So, in this episode, to kick things off, we're making some trades. It's happening. Uh, the players to go, players on the trade block, first and foremost, Jimmy Ward. Slow development at cornerback. We want to get other guys in there. We have personnel we want to see on the field. And it's not slow development. Trash Jimmy Ward. I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for. Probably a linebacker. I got to tell you, Dawson Bailey has played well at free safety. He's played well. Hasn't been amazing, but he's played decently. So, not really looking to replace him necessarily. Ray Ray Armstrong's played well as well. Could use a backup linebacker, but mainly looking to replace Eli Harold. And then on the offense side of the ball, I feel like um, we're kind of set. Might also look to move on from Carlos Hyde, maybe in the form of a draft pick or a defensive lineman or a cornerback. All of these th those things could happen. Could even get a safety. We are in need of a safety. Um, but all will tell. You'll find out soon. All right, so we have made a trade. Jimmy Ward, Dante Johnson, and Joshua Garnett, former first-round pick of the Niners, are headed to Tampa Bay, and Quan Alexander is headed to San Francisco to join the 49ers. This seems like a somewhat realistic trade. Quan Alexander, Jimmy, uh, um, I just have an aneurysm. Jimmy Ward, I almost said Jimmy Smith. I died that name track in my head. I couldn't say anything else. So Quan Alexander, they're both the same age. Quan Alexander, decent. Also, we gave them a, a potential piece in uh, Joshua Garnett. As Quan Alexander will be moved to right outside linebacker. And they didn't really bother to get Quan's face in there, I guess. But that is not what Quan Alexander really looks like. He's going to be playing right outside linebacker where he's an 88 overall. That is a great fit for the scheme. And then Ray Ray Armstrong is going to be playing left outside linebacker. He has played well for us. So I'm not necessarily looking to move on from him. As we talked about a little bit already. Quan Alexander is going to be an incredible piece to, the, uh, to add to the team. A really, really good player to add. Excited to get him on the squad. And we do need to potentially upgrade a safety spot. Chiquisky Tart hasn't played all that well. And our cornerbacks aren't great either. Carlos Hyde, he's franchise tagged. If we want to move on from him, it's going to have to be right now, pretty much. And I'm probably looking to do that. All right, last trade of the episode. It's kind of a big one. And again, we're trying to keep it on the realistic planes a little bit here. Uh, Carlos Hyde and a fourth round pick for Obi Melifonwu and Jihad Ward. Uh, Jihad Ward from the Oakland Raiders. I guess they may have moved to Las Vegas at this point, but... We're going to call them the Oakland Raiders regardless. Jihad Ward is really good depth. He's also a player that we could start over Aaron Lynch if we wanted to. That's certainly on the table. He's a very good player. If you guys remember in one of the uh, Raiders rebuilds last year, Jihad Ward actually came out was an absolute stud. So we could look to actually start him. Not sure if we're going to do that right now. But um, we have definitely gotten better. Obi Melifonwu. Not sure exactly where we're going to play him. He's an incredible player with potential. 92 speed, 77 zone, 86 hit power. 6'3", only 24 years of age. Going to be an incredibly exciting player to play with. 97 jumping as well. He could be a fantastic player for us. Likely, we will start him at free safety, I'd like to say. But also, he could be a fit as a nickel cornerback. Would be an amazing player there, but we... Traded for him to play safety. So um, we'll likely try and give that a shot. You know, based on on-field play, we're going to leave Obi Melifanwu at strong safety over Jaquiski Tart. 
and we're going to leave Dawson Bailey starting at free safety. He played well, so I'm not looking to move on from him. You know, you play well, you earn your spot on the team, you earn your position. Dawson Bailey has not played out of his spot. We like exactly where he is. And Aaron Lynch, um, he's decent enough. We're going to leave him at left outside linebacker, and uh, we're going to move Akilah Witherspoon down for a player that has played pretty well in Marcus Calhoun, rookie out of Cal. And uh, we're probably going to move him down even further as Aaron Merritt is a guy that could come in. He's a guy we drafted, a lot of potential, played pretty well. And um, I don't know. I don't even know what I like more, Marcus Calhoun or Aaron Merritt. It's kind of a toss-up. All right, but we are ready to get into the game for the episode. Put Jimmy Ward on the trade block. That was right. Let's see what offers we would have gotten. Nick Vigil in his seventh. Braxton Miller, a fifth and a seventh. We didn't really need a wide receiver, um, and Nick Vigil doesn't really satisfy our outside linebacker needs. I would much rather have Quan Alexander, um, but the starting running back is not going to be Orlean Starqua. It's going to be Joey Cummings. Slow development is really tough. Let's see where we can upgrade him potentially before the episode. Let's do spin move up to a 79. And um, let's go ahead and get into this game versus the... Los Angeles Rams in Los Angeles. We're down to a 75 overall. I thought we were 76 last week. Somewhat strange. But, uh, yeah, sliders have been changed a little bit in our favor. Nothing crazy. It's still harder than all Madden, uh, but a little bit more fair, a little bit more fun. That's what we're going for. We want the, um, the best experience, realistic per the actual game, because all Madden, it screws up with strength, speed, it makes the CPU overpowered and unrealistically so. And it doesn't make a fun, exciting, real game experience. That's kind of what I'm looking for. So sliders have been changed a little bit. Hopefully it plays better. That's what we're going for. Um, so we can have more than a, a second and a half in the pocket. It would be great. Run the ball a little bit better. That's what we're going for. It looks like Orlean Stark was starting still. It's not going to happen. The reason there is no chance that Orlean Stark gets the start, do like him as a backup. Is because the reason that we went out and traded Carlos Hyde away, he, well, he was franchise tag. There were a lot of viewers that did not want to see Carlos Hyde back in 49ers colors. We brought him back anyway. He's sticking to similar colors in the fact that it's uh, pretty much red and gold going down there to Tampa Bay. Um, this Aaron Merritt wraps up. I think great special teams tackle. Jaquiski Tart also out there. Um, but, I mean, we saw a great play from Joey Cummings. We wanted to get him involved. Wanted to keep him out there as our starting running back, um, or get out there as our starting running back. So we did just that. That was the goal. Carlos Hyde, franchise tag. We were going to move on from him at some point in the season. It was make a great tackle on Todd Gurley with Ruben Foster. But we needed to move on from Carlos Hyde, and then Jimmy Ward was dead weight. We weren't going to keep him on the team anyway. So we're in a much better spot now. New debuts being made. Obi Melifonwu, Quan Alexander. We'll see how that goes. That's a screen. And that's pressure. And the ball is loose. Someone get the ball. Not on the Rams. Rob Havenstein gets the recovery. That is so unfortunate. The Rams are obviously worse in game than the Seahawks are as Sanchez Heaney is going to return this kick. So it doesn't, or it does make sense as Sanchez Heaney is going to break a tackle. Break another one. Cut this back. Spin again. Oh my goodness. We didn't even move the tackle sliders at all. You guys saw the only sliders that were moved. Um, and Sanchez Heaney's just making some plays. Going to be incredibly more difficult to run the ball on this awesome Rams front seven. Aaron Donald's a guy that's going to be just such a nuisance as he's pretty much there to make that tackle. It's going to be Robert Quinn, though, who gets it. And not a great start for the Niners and Joey Cummings on offense. Was tempted to move on from Marquise Goodwin. He's going to stay on the team there as we're going to find Sanchez Heaney on third and 13. Won't get the first down, though. And we will settle for the punt on 4th and 5. But was really tempted to move on from Marquise Goodwin. Kalan Adkins had a really good game in limited snaps. So we're excited about him. Excited about the potential. We're still going to hold on to Marquise Goodwin for the time being. As Bradley Pinion is going to unleash a boomer. It's out at the 6. What a punt. That's a fantastic tackle. Aaron Merritt again. And I know tackles aren't the most exciting plays. That's a tackle for loss as well. And that's actually his third tackle. I don't know why it popped up his two. He has a special teams. He had a tackle last drive uh, where it popped up for two tackles. 
And then he gets another tackle as Todd Gurley's up the middle. No one's getting him. Spun out is Obi Melifonwu. That's no good. That's exactly what would happen to uh, Chiquisky Tart as Aaron Merritt. Did he get another tackle? Jesus, Aaron Merritt is all over the field in this nickel package. But yeah, Obi Melifonwu, you can't get spun out in those situations. We need you to wrap up. As he might have an opportunity this time. Obi Melifon was tracking him and he gets spun out again. Not spun out, but he gets juked out. You gotta wrap up, Obi. You have to wrap up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do the Rams have Drew Brees? I did not even notice. Is that Drew Brees calling plays and running them? As, oh my goodness, what a tackle from Aaron Merritt. He is literally all over the field. Second tackle for loss. That's his fourth, maybe even his fifth tackle. I'm not even sure at this point. I know it popped up as four, but I definitely don't necessarily agree with that. This is going to be third and true. I think it's Drew Brees. So you can throw the ball quickly. Shard Robinson wraps up. That's a good play. It is Drew Brees for his first pass of the game. Ty Gurley already has eight carries here near the end of the first quarter. He's going to be on pace for nearly 40. <laughs> he continues at this rate. So I think we have the... Oh my goodness, there's the sack. DeForest Buckner with his second on the day. So that's who got it earlier. Now we're getting after the quarterback a little bit. Granted, um, this Rams offensive line isn't very good, but Seattle's offensive line was absolute trash. And we didn't generate one, one even hurry, I feel like, with the uh, with the previous slider. And it hasn't, only, it hasn't only been changed by like five, but still, I mean, it's making a big difference as we actually get pressure. As Sanchez Heaney has some space potentially... Sanchez Heaney to the outside. Someone pick up the block. Sanchez Heaney got a turn on the burners here as he is pushed out at the 27. What a return. We're going to throw that ball. Joey Cummings catches it. We're going to try to truck. And Joey Cummings actually does truck over a defender. This is why we went out and we made that move. Joey Cummings can really do it all. I don't think his trucking rating is that high. I'm not really sure how he did that. But I'm not complaining. We're going to go right back to Joey Cummings. There he is. Joey Cummings. Burners. End zone. No. Very short. It's so hard to want to run the ball at Aaron Donald, but it looks like it could be open. Not really sure. We're going to continue to throw it. And we go underneath there. Wide open. Sanchez Heaney gets the touchdown after his incredible return. And we are on the board. Sanchez Heaney's first touchdown catch. Almost had his first career touchdown as a punt return. As that ball is barely in. 7-0 to start at the game. Same exact start as Robbie Gold kicks it through. Same exact start last week against Seattle. And clearly that game did not go um, well for us after the 7-0 part. But uh, again, decent start here in the second quarter. First and 10. Ruben Foster should have been all over that. Got caught up on a block. Get over there. Dawson Bailey. Broken tackle. Quan Alexander can't reel him in. Oh my goodness, neither can Obi Melifon. We're going for the football there. Is that Aaron Merritt who ended up tracking him down? I think it might have been. Second and three. There's the handoff. Someone's got to be on that. And that, oh my goodness, good tackle. Who is that? Willis Burdine? That's our rookie cornerback that we drafted high. We drafted him high in the draft. Not as high as Josh Gordon, but we drafted him pretty high. Um, we haven't really been calling his name too much. But then again, the ball hasn't really been thrown. And that's play action. Drop back. Get there. Pressure. Eric Armstead. Drops Drew Brees. There we go. False start's going to make it third and 20. Let's make a play. They're pretty much going to be forced to pass here unless they hand the ball off to a, a backup. Not a great one. Drew Brees has all the time in the world. He finds someone, but it's picked off by Dawson Bailey. Dawson Bailey going to have room. We left him in as the starting safety, and Dawson Bailey showing us why. He is not going to be caught diving way too early. He celebrates through the legs, end zone, touchdown. Dawson Bailey with his first career interception, and it is a pick six. I believe that's his first career interception. What a way to go up 14-0. First and 15. Ruben Foster's all over it. He gets destroyed, though. But thankfully, DeForest Buckner is there to bring down Todd Gurley in the backfield. Was not anticipating a tackle battle there. Was spamming A to try and bring him down. And the Todd Gurley too strong. Who's their backup? Doyle. Got to be some generated rookie. I have no idea who that is. They're going to run the ball to him. 
And he has some space to the outside. He's going to kind of bowl over uh, Obi there, but he goes down anyway. Two-minute drill for Jimmy Garoppolo. We've seen him in these situations before. Let's see how he fares in this one. As we might take a shot deep downfield. We're going to. Josh Gordon, make a play. Overthrown. Probably good that he did so, too. Tremaine Johnson was all over him. Oh, my goodness. What kind of a throw is that? Mo Alexander has a pick six. That is just not even close to where I wanted the ball. And that's how Los Angeles is getting out on the board first time. Like, that is just so bad. He was under pressure, but check this out. Jimmy G drops back to throw. There's the pressure. Was throwing the ball underneath. And look where it goes. Look where it goes. Not where it was supposed to be. Maurice Alexander with a pick six. After the pick six, Jimmy G going to have some explaining to do in the form of his play. And we're going to throw that ball. Oh my goodness, what a throw. And Josh Gordon's right there. Post eats them up. As we're going to go into the hurry-up offense. Jimmy G so lethal in these situations, potentially to his own team if he throws another pick six. Blitz is coming. We're going to go underneath. It's Marquise Goodwin. He'll make the reception. Got to be so careful with the football as we're entering the red zone. Still 16 yards out, but we do not want to turn over the ball here. We can get points on the board before half. How fast was that? I should be an auctioneer. Here's a snap. Another blitz coming in. And we're going to try to throw that ball. It would have been a really bad throw. <laughs> Aaron Donald going to bring us down. And it's third and 14. And uh, I've done it again. We're out of field goal range. This is going to be hit perfectly. And time will certainly expire. Smoking Jay with the hold. Robbie Gold is golden in red and gold. That's a lot of wordplay there. But, yeah, we're in a great spot. Up 17-7, receiving at half. Couldn't be better. It easily could be better. Jimmy G couldn't have thrown a pick six. But that is what it is. Sanchez Heaney down at the 28. That is a lot of win. That could be inside the 20. Uh, by inside, I mean not close, really. And it looks like Jonu Smith was the injured 49er on the play. George Kittle going to come in and replace him. He started for us last year, and then Jonu Smith, of course, was involved in a trade. Forget exactly what trade. I probably should know. Is this going to be play action? We're going to drop back there. This is going to be a sack. This is going to be a sack or a throwaway. He's going at me. <sighs> Jeez. Drew Brees threw a beautiful ball to the table on Austin. Looked like. Or another receiver wearing number. No, it is Taylor and Austin still on the team. And, um, yeah, was not hauled in. Oh, it was very close. Ruben Foster gets it outside. Somebody. We got to still play good defense. And, oh, my goodness, it's DeForest Buckner delivering quite a shot at Drew Brees. His third sack of the game. He is delivering incredible pressure from the inside of that defensive line. Defensive interior, Eric Armstead has the other sack. Can't really generate much pressure with the outside. Uh, Aaron Lynch hasn't really gotten there. Solomon Thomas hasn't. Sanchez Heaney going to get another return. He's going to break a tackle. Sanchez Heaney has some space. Sanchez Heaney is going to be faster. That is not a good route. Sanchez Heaney, one man to beat. We're going to back juke him. And he's down at the 19. Sanchez Heaney with another incredible return. But uh, can't take it the distance again. Oh, we could be able to take him, take the top off the defense here. We're going to go max protect. John Smith is actually back in the game. Um, there's a blitz. Josh Gordon, open! Drops the ball! Uh, I don't know, that, that would have been a touchdown. Had to throw the ball when we did, though. Otherwise, we might have taken a sack. But, man, we can't run the ball on this defense. We can't throw the ball. Pressure's getting there. Here's 2nd and 10. We're going to take a shot. Josh Gordon, make a play. Oh, baby. Great ball from Jimmy G. One-on-one -on -one matchup. Did not work. Here we go, 3rd and 10. Here's pressure. We're throwing the ball. It's Jonu Smith up the middle for his first completion and who knows how long. Tight ends haven't been exactly uh, the forefront of this offense recently. But it will be 1st and goal after the Jonu Smith catch. And we're going to try to run the ball again. Aaron Donald is so hard to run it on, though. Aaron Donald was not in the picture on that one. Joey Cummings in the end zone for a touchdown. We're going to go up 24-7. to 
is that a play action? We're trying to get there with Ruben Foster. Pressure's going in. But that's wide open over the middle. Sammy Watkins. We bit hard in the play action. And they decided to throw the ball right where I maybe was supposed to be with Ruben Foster. My maybe, I mean, certainly. Couldn't get there. Couldn't get off my block. Here's a run. We're already got the outside. We're going to switch on with Quan Alexander. That's a great tackle by Willis Burdine. Um, the rookie still yet to find his first interception on the team. It's, this is not a team that generates a lot of interceptions. We're mainly just bend but don't break defense. We'll force a few turnovers, but not really many. Is it to draw? And that is a great wrap up by the new 49er, Quan Alexander. Love it. They're out of field goal range, too. Joey Cummings back in the game. We're going to try to run that ball to the right side. Nah, we're going to keep it to the left. Joey Cummings. Take it to the outside. Couldn't get there. Aaron Donald. Make sure that he can't. Aaron Donald is ridiculously overpowered in this game. As well he should be, to be fair. He's so good in real life. We're going to dial up a similar play there. We're going to go right back to Josh Gordon. And that has jumped by Maurice Alexander. And the ball is loose. Joey Cummings has it. Joey Cummings, what has gone on? And he is all the way to the end zone for the touchdown. What has transpired here? That's not a great spike, Joey, I got to tell you. Picked off by Mo Alexander. Who forced that fumble? Marquise Goodwin. Is it? No, it's Sanchez Heaney. No, it is Marquise Goodwin. We're at number 11. Forces the fumble. Joey Cummings is there for the return. Exactly how we drew it up. There's only so much that one player can do. And Drew Brees is forcing it to Todd Gurley every single play. Whether it's a run, he's handing it off to him. Whether he's throwing it to him. He has six completions. I'd like to see how many receptions Todd Gurley has. Four receptions. That's unbelievable. And he's going deep. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. Aaron Merritt is burned. Was that Aaron Merritt? Might have been... Might have been Willis Burdine on the outside in a press, and he was destroyed. And that was a play we just ran. I'm not sure that it was. Same defense. As we're going to be there. And sack, pressure. It's Aaron Lynch. Talking about maybe playing Jihad Ward over him. He's going to say, all right, I still got it. I can get after the quarterback. All right, Aaron. We'll leave you in. He's going deep. Oh, my goodness, Again. The streak to Sammy Watkins worked beautifully. We need to see exactly whose fault that is. Because Aaron Merrick gets there. I think that's Willis Burdine burned again. He's burned on. That press is not working at all. Obi Melifon who saves a touchdown there. Um, ah, not good, man. They're forcing the ball to Todd Gurley really every single play. And we've had no answer. I don't see any way Los Angeles doesn't score here. They're on the one. Or on the one defense. Or goal line defense. Not good. It's really bad, actually. And that's the user pick. Easy reads. Ruben Foster going to return this one. Todd Gurley so fast. Um... Green Eggs and Ham, the classic. Ruben Foster comes up with the interception. His third in two games. Three games, actually. Averaging one per game, and that could be the dagger. Third and 13. We're going to try the same thing to the other side. And Joey Cummings has nowhere to go. He breaks a tackle. Okay, that could have been really, really dangerous for the Rams, but Joey Cummings wrapped up in the backfield. Not a great possession. And they're going to lob it. Did Cooper Cup keep his feet in bounds? They're going to say that he did. Looks like Calhoun was the one responsible for giving up that touchdown. Booth review, though. We'll take a second look. Probably they won't even show the feet. Of course not. I don't really know how we're supposed to determine from that one. Can't tell if he's out or not. May have dragged that right foot. Can't really tell. What are they going to say? Is he in? They're going to call it touchdown. They're going for two. We did it. Man, we got to not allow scores in these situations. Is he going to run the ball? 
It's Ty Gurley. I mean, this is the 40th fucking time he starts the ball all game. 31 to 15. This looks like a very familiar scoreline. Did we lose 31 15 last week? We may have. And there it is. We'll check out the stats. Very good win for the 49ers. It was pretty much never in doubt. Jimmy G had a very interesting game. Threw two interceptions. One totally his fault. One totally my fault. Eight for 15, 91 yards. Not having a good statistical season. Tiger early, 20 attempts, 117 yards, no touchdowns. Joey Cummings averaged three on the ground at 16 attempts. Orleans Darkwa averaged zero. Offensive line wasn't great today. Sammy Watkins torched Birdine. Willis Birdine is not playing great. Um, that's Tiger early at six catches. 26 total times he touched the ball. Cooper Cup with a touchdown. Sanchez Heaney with a touchdown. And hold on a minute. Because uh, the touchdown one for Joey Cummings was absolutely ridiculous. You guys probably remember it. Who led in yards? Everett, Josh Gordon had a catch for 26 yards. Blocking, who's letting up those sacks? Trent Brown with one. And that was all it let up. Defensively, Aaron Merritt had nine total tackles. Two for loss. Quan Alexander had six in his debut. Quarterback sacks, three for Buckner. One for Armstead. Um, one for Lynch as well. Mo Alexander with two picks. Dawson Bailey and Ruben Foster each with one. And we did actually have a pick six. Two, Dawson Bailey and Mo Alexander. But that is going to be the game. However, probably not the episode. Right, week four, we are facing the 0-3 Saints. I'm going to scout, and then we're going to simulate. Simulating that week, can we go 3-1 and one with a win over the 0-3 Saints? Of course not. But we will face the 2-2 two two Chargers, and that is a game I will probably play. As Quan Alexander's in a contract here, lost 24-19. to We'll go over the stats real quick, and then we'll get out of here for this episode. It's probably a long one. But lost by five. Jimmy Garoppolo, 204 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions. Their quarterback is Ryan Clary, a rookie out of Florida. One touchdown, two interceptions, rushing. Mark Ingram had a decent day. A day. Orleans Dark was started. Um, however, Joey Cummings is the one with the touchdown. Average 3.2 on the ground. AP with a touchdown as well. Ryan Clary broke a couple of tackles. Jeez. Receiving Ted Ginn, nine catches for 124 in the TD. Most of our receivers did not have much going on. And, of course, Orlean Stark was still starting on the depth chart for whatever reason. Trent Brown allowed five sacks. VJ Poole allowed one. That's not good. Simulation screwed, though. Ruben Foster, nine tackles. Richard Robinson with eight. Willis Burdine with seven. Tackles for loss. Two for Cam Jordan. One for Solomon Thomas. One for the rookie Lynn Mines. Quarterback sacks, two for Preston Smith. One for Cam Jordan. One for Solomon Thomas. One for Lynn Mines. One for Holy Kikaha, one for Sheldon Reckins, one for DeForest Buckner, and one for Ray Ray Armstrong. Interceptions, Ruben Foster had two. Ruben Foster is having an unbelievable season so far. He also had one deflection, only allowed one catch. Forced fumbles. Obi Melafonwu forced a fumble. Any defensive touchdowns? No. That's going to do it for the episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. This shit don't run well.